Uh, and man, what a heartbreaker. I love watching both of these players and to see them have to eliminate each other already. That's Evo though, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Wait, <laughs> pillow tossing. All right. A little bit of zoning play early on. <laughs> and we saw, I mean, Paco was ready. So maybe, uh, you know, a little bit of foreshadowing. I, I got to say though, it's interesting that Lassit definitely plays a very international team, I would say, because usually you see, especially watching ICFC Asia, right? Yeah. Uh, most of the top level players are playing very similar teams. Yeah, that's true. But when you leave those, that region, you usually find more character variety a little bit, in the yeah. top areas. And I so agree. Lassit definitely playing a, a team you would see maybe in ICFC NA or even in EU. Yeah, and not only that, but like we uh, keep bringing up, is that he's making it work in, I think, uh, arguably one of the strongest regions in the world right now. I mean, you see the results here in top mm -hmm, eight. Definitely. Uh, C4, five, uh, six, excuse me, six East Asian players here in this top eight. So, yep. I mean, it's hard to argue with those results. Plus, plus, we're missing some really heavy hitters, right? That I mean, they're I almost mean, a, get, a, a lock, right? I, 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 I don't like to wax about who ain't here, but in this case, it's a pretty big deal. It's a, it's an elephant in the room, and we have yeah. to address it. Uh, obviously, uh, mainland China was not able to send some of their players out, uh, and which is unfortunate. I would have loved to see them compete here on this grand stage. Right. But regardless of whether they're here or not, we've still got some incredible KOF talent uh, lined up here. And I'm just so excited. Dude, I, I love watching Lassid play, dude. Well, I'm telling you right now, while I said he has a very international team, that may betray him because Paco plays those kind of teams all the time. That's true, yeah. I mean, he's used to that. Um, and I'm sure he's used to these matchups. Uh, so we'll see whether he has the answers. The thing about Paco's team is, um, oh, okay, he's running the long up against Mei Tenkun. I was talking about this before when he was playing on stream and pools. But I feel like that matchup is a little bit difficult for long because she's, uh, she's, she's kind of focuses on controlling the ground space uh, with that Stan CD of hers, but Mei Tang Kun is also really good at controlling the grounded uh, footsie spacing with those fireballs, with his dash punches, so uh, kind of limiting her movement options to the air, which he obviously controls also very well. Yeah, this definitely feels like Paco got something for this character. Yeah, we'll see. Nice. Just Stan CD. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can see already how that might be frustrating for Chizu, who has very fast buttons, but maybe not the range. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you see that? Got the punish, but didn't quite convert into a big damage opportunity. Oh. Dude, that's what Luang wants to do. She wants to press that Stan CD, but Mei Tenkun just controls that spacing so well. It's hard. Yes, he does. And also with his own Stan CD. This is almost a perfect already. Oh, wow. Hold blocks it again. It. Dude, nothing. Paco has not been able to get anything started. And look at that. Anytime you try to go to the air like that, Mei Tenkun, if he has charge, you will get anti aired. And that was a perfect, as you called earlier, man. Lasted playing perfectly right now. Mm -hmm. Almost textbook play here. And I feel like this is the matchup he didn't want at all at all costs. Yeah. Well, I mean, Chizuru does have a fireball reflect, but I don't think it's going to be a, a, that big of a factor, unfortunately. And this is going to be difficult because, again, those Whoa. clones, they, it controls space in a similar way that Luang controls space. Okay, oh. big punch coming. Nice. And that was a big bet. Every time you do a dash punch and it gets blocked, there's a bit of a 50-50 guess, uh, guessing situation whether you do the follow-up or not. Exactly, right? You kind of delay it a little bit. Hopefully, you catch the guy pressing the button trying to punish it. Yeah, but that time, Paco did guess right. Oh, wow, the big chatter strike. Okay, wow. Nice. Couldn't get it. Nice down C. That's just what he needed. You have to stop every time Mei Tang Kun approaches you, but it's so difficult to do. And I'm seeing a problem here, man. Paco is almost playing just like he was playing Sace and X. And he can't get away with that last hit. It's not letting him get away with mistakes. Dude, it's so difficult. Oh my goodness, the DP bait. And last hit, making short work of Paco right now. This character is going to be Paco's bane. I am telling you right now. Oh man, dude, that's such a weird character to play against, especially if you're not that used to it. And that might be the one character we don't see a lot about here at the US or in NA overall. Yeah, I mean, he's just a less popular character, but he is obviously a very, very strong, strong one. Very strong, very strong. Nice, gets the sweep. Elizabeth, oh my yeah, gosh. Can't do that. Yeah, tries to approach. But he, oh, here we go. Gets the Nate Tenkun out of there. Bit of an overextension from last hit. Trying to put on the pressure with that hot pressure. You know, usually don't people don't think about Elizabeth anti air, so maybe he thought he had a free jump. Mm -hmm. Now we got Shermie. A bit of like a, he's kind of like a, the opposite play style. You kind of want to uh, oppress them with this character rather than control space. And you see him pumping that stance and he's trying to catch the Elizabeth jumping. Oh my gosh. Oh, no punish? Okay, let's get away with it. Yeah, that's, that's facing is difficult. Nice anti air from Paco. The defense, though, so far from last, that you're going to need to pull out some tricks to yeah. open this guy up. Here we go. Gets the combo, and this is going to be a hard knockdown. 
Goes for one bar, just get a little bit extra damage. Oh, what a block. Good defense. Guard cancel into the corner, I like it. Continuing his pressure, but again, it's so difficult to crack Lassit's defense. He plays all these characters that he really need to... He needs to defend um, honestly here, and he's so used to it. All right, so he's looking at getting one bar here. If he touches it, he's probably going to finish the Sherman off, but he's got to worry about the Atsy in the back end. Oh, no. The whiff punish? That was amazing. That was nice. Stayed in front. That was so ambiguous. Nice stuff is there. We'll hit him with the low beast. That's going to be it. Oh, no. One more pixel. There ah, it is. that'll do it. And that's a, a very common situation with Lassit. Watch out for when Shermie does that weird little like jumping uh, flippy kick thing. Yeah. Um, the, the situation afterwards, if you've been knocked down, um, chances are you're going to have to eat a 50-50 between grab and throw. Ouch. So, yeah, definitely look out for uh, the mind games that are being played there. All right, well, Lass Lassit taking that one pretty handily, only making it down to the Shermie. Paco has to make a huge adjustment here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, I really think that that Maytan Kun is going to be a problem. And you look how far back he put Long oh, trying yeah, to yeah. avoid. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was like, no, I am not having any of that Maytan Kun, man. Not with Long. He might be trying to solve the problem in real time here. And this is. Seems like I mean, it. it. It happens, right? Yep, yep. All right. Crowd trying to give their energy. Oh my gosh, it filled up in here like crazy. Yeah, I know, right? What happened? How'd everybody get in my room? <laughs> nice. And again, this, I don't think this matchup is particularly good either for Paco, so this is going to be an uphill battle, but he was aware of that coming into this. And he's already in the corner getting harassed. Nice. Absolutely murdered. Oh, man, there's no room to move. Dude, yeah. There is this, no room to move. This corner oppression. And this is where Paco usually is when he's playing against anybody else, but this character being piloted by Lassid right now, he's so good at turning the tables on Paco. Yeah, man, and Lassid has not taken his foot off the gas since the match began. Paco's got to find a way to make him hit the brakes. Cut the tires, man. Oh my gosh, tried to get the anti-air there, I think. Looking a little shook there. Dash punch catches the jump. Kind of like Burn Knuckle, where he, uh, it, it's really good at controlling the hops. Gets the hard knockdown, tries to put on the pressure. Doesn't over, oh, he does overextend, unfortunate. Man, thought he had a, whip, a, a button there and just uh -huh. wasn't nothing, nobody home. Ran into a reversal. Yeah, that delayed uh, flash kick really set us the pace there. And Paco looking gun shy right now. Yeah. This is not a good look. Nice, GP. Into the corner, into the hard knockdown, gets the OTG as well. Ooh, last it just pouring it on, you love it, man. Nice oh. block. He's ready for those. That's the second time he's blocked. Nice! Oh, big one is coming. Okay, he has to make this count. Only one bar, though. Not going to kill. But what's the hard knockdown? I like it. What's the setup? I like that. This time, instead of delaying a button, he just waited. Oh, no. A little bit too far. He wanted to go through the fireball yeah, with that. I respect it, but unfortunately, just the distance was misjudged. Unfortunate. And now Paco on his last legs. Mexico's last hope. And last is playing absolutely perfect too, man. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Nice. Okay, finds the opening. This is going to be big. And this isn't going to be enough to, to take out the Maytanker, but it's going to get the hard knockdown into a favorable situation. Let's see the safe jump. What's he do afterwards? No oh, safe jump. Going for the sweep, though. Last is proving to be too solid. Oh, oh, oh down, the frame trap. That's rude. That was so delayed. Oh, my goodness. Catches them again. That's rude. And I think that broke Paco, man. Paco is not looking happy. Oh, my gosh. The throw. Oh, CV incoming. Uh, oh, okay. nice, nice, nice. Nice. The shatter okay. strike. Gets him out of there. And Paco still staying alive. Keep the fight going, brother. And Blast is saying, OK, back to Shermie. Let's wrap it up, brother. Yeah, he's going to have to shut down Shermie so effectively here. He wants to get some health back, too, against Ash. Oh, no, oh, that was boy. such a big opportunity, but he did an early button. Looking for the cross up there. Last misses, but no punish for there. Oh, that's going to be not, not quite. One more of those is going to do it. It's big. What's he got? No. Oh, big drop. The spacing. That Bruh. was the... Bruh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 That's it. Last it. Holding together. Staying frosty. That's so unfortunate, Paco. North America's last hope is eliminated by Lasted from Korea. And what a set that was, huh, Paco? Oh, most certainly, man. Paco just couldn't find the strength to overcome that onslaught that Lasted was laying on him. Damn. <laughs> that was sick, dude. Oh, yo, is he, he's crying into the pillow. <laughs> he hit, yeah, I hit him with the pillow and he started crying into oh, it. Oh, no. Yo, the sportsmanship, I love it. All these players, they've got so much respect for each other, playing at such a high level. They know what it takes to get to this stage. Oh, most certainly, man. And I'm enjoying watching them have a good time on stage. Even in defeat, they can see there's a lot of good camaraderie there. We are a community.